Hey, this is Louis D. Fresh bringing it to you on a Tuesday. We're going to be talking about today in our College Spotlight playlist, we're going to be talking about the University of Iowa. Um, I know that that may seem weird or, or, or uh, like not heard of, but I think that's exactly why it's a good place to start with the College Spotlight. We're going to look at the middle of the country. We're going to be taking a look at a, pro- a public research, top-notch public research university. And uh, I think it's important to look outside the box. We look too quickly in the box. We look at um, places within our, our local community, um, and we look in within our local state. And sometimes we look at the big three, New York, uh, Chicago, and Los Angeles. And sometimes when we look abroad, uh, we look at uh, places like Rome, Paris, Madrid. But I think it's, there are so many, not, not hidden gems, but actual gems. And uh, that's why I'm doing the College Spotlight. We're going to be doing it this this time, and we'll be talking about it next time. Um, this one is a public school within uh, in the heartland of the United States. And the next one is a, is a private school, which I'm not telling you yet. And I actually visited that school uh, a few years back, and uh, it's in the heartland of the United States. So let's, uh, let's get started. Again, like like anything else, uh, using Google as your best friend, you type in the University of Iowa, and that would be the home page. I want to try to keep these as brief as possible because uh, because sometimes these things are too long. But here is a good a good starting point. You see, this is the the home page, and this is going to be our best friend, our menu. I I did take some notes, as you will see right here, prior to doing the the video, and uh, you should as well when you are researching schools. And as we take a look at the um, at my notes, uh, I noticed that previously I've been doing um, a sort of a, a pattern to to looking at schools. Uh, when I look locally at schools within um, within my area, um, now we're, we're we're branching out, and so I'm going to try to continue with the same pattern. We're gonna, I'm looking at my notes. We're going to be talking about admissions. We talk about financial aid, majors, activities, and finding your counselor. So let's keep going. So again, we're going to be looking at our at our menu, and like I said, I did look at this prior, so I, I automatically look at the toolbar and see where I'm going to get started. So I started here with menu, and again, in the interest of uh, of, of not having my handshake, I, I clicked on the menu bar and I went to admissions, and we're going to look at undergraduate admission. Undergraduate admissions. Uh, why we're looking under because that is the, the starting point for for university studies not graduate or, or things like that undergraduate is what is the key that we're looking for this is the page that appears when I click on undergraduate admissions and that is a key word you want to look for future students and again these are all little little fun words that that colleges use like this one University of Iowa to kind of tell you, hey, that you, you, this is what you're looking for to get started, future students. And once I, I click on future, uh, future students, um, and my college segment of the YouTube channel here, I focus on kids who are still in high school or who have never really done anything in terms of college, who are including students who are taking college classes, but have never really attended. So first year students is a, is a buzzword that you should be looking for as you're exploring schools. And as I look at my uh, as I look at my notes, first year uh, admission requirements. This is kind of important because that's what you want to make sure that you have every, all your bases covered before you even consider applying. And you want to go here to high school course requirements. What what is what is the basic thing that you need? And I, I have mentioned this in the past in terms of in um, in a social media post uh, many months ago. Uh, about uh, your transcript and we also have a YouTube video on transcripts but this is a connection again as I, I, I kind of like that theme that I have going on about connections because uh, you need to you know, I don't care where you are or what you do you, you need to have these basic things fulfilled such as uh, four years of language arts or English you need to have uh, two world languages well and when I say that and I, even though they don't say it they want you to have two consecutive years of a language whether it be Spanish French uh, Chinese, whatever it may be, uh, two consecutive years at the bare minimum. Uh, natural sciences, they all do want you to have biology, 
um, at, in that requirement in social studies. Uh, usually would mean world history, United States history, and uh, half a credit of economics and half a credit of U.S. government, uh, algebra one and two, geometry, and usually to finish a fourth math. Let's take a quick peek at the first year application process. It will take you to apply now. It will take you to this page where you need to actually register. A lot of schools have that where you are to create an account. But I know that in the exploration, you may say, well, I really don't want to necessarily do that. It's still a good idea just to have it uh, in case uh, you do want to apply. And this way it's, it's readily available to you. Again, very simple name, email. Remember keeping your email appropriate. And last but not least, I would definitely request information so you can get more information on the school, not just with what your, your own research will yield. And again, without scrolling, uh, information requests, basic, basic name, emails, uh, a cell phone because they may want to text you. Um, so it, it, it definitely can't hurt. Now we're going to go on to our, our second portion, which is cost and aid. Again, going back to the menu, this is a this is a bit unusual because uh, cost and aid is under admissions. So um, I had to kind of do a little down a double take because I didn't see financial aid, but it's right there in this case under admissions. And again, here, first thing you want to know is what is your cost? How much is this school going to cost me? So I think it's good to take a look at your estimated costs. As I did mention previously, it is a public university. Uh, for the state of Iowa in the middle of the United States, the heartland of the United States. And any public school is always going to be cheaper for its residents. So you can see here that the cost of attendance is considerably lower uh, for, for Iowa residents uh, as opposed to the non-residents. It's usually about $20,000, $25,000 discrepancy. However, if you look here, uh, the total for non-resident, in my case, would be Florida, it would be roughly about $49,000, which seems like a steep price tag, but it is feasible to, to pay. Let's explore. We're exploring with financial aid. You are a new student. Looking at my notebook, you'll notice here, I did put type and sources because like I said, I did take notes. And that's what we're gonna take a look at right here, type and sources. Again, looking at connections, the connection that I mentioned previously uh, in the very beginning, probably in my uh, second or fourth video, YouTube video, you need to look back at my archives, that I spent uh, some time talking about how, again, this is the University of Iowa, I'm not just making this up here, University of Iowa, how uh, federal money is the number one thing you need to do to search for financial aid through the FAFSA, which I mentioned at length, uh, again, a long, long time ago. And I did mention October 1st is the, the beginning date. And I did mention how the earlier you file it, in this case for University of Iowa, it would be December 1st, uh, the sooner the better. So that's the first source, again, our connections. Second source is the state of residence. In this case, it would be Iowa. But uh, sometimes it doesn't hurt to, to ask, like in my case, the state of Florida, if they would accept any state aid that I would be getting to go to a state school in Florida. Institutional, uh, what in this case, the University of Iowa, but any school that you're looking at. And uh, private, what, what, like I mentioned, FastWeb, I mentioned uh, scholarships.com, um, I, I will mention Scholarship Monkey, United Negro Fund, uh, Hispanic Scholarship Fund, the Coca-Cola Company, Best Buy, there are so many, and that is called bundling, as I mentioned in the past. But for the case of this video, let's just take a look at scholarship and awards for the University of Iowa. And you will notice here, for the University of Iowa that they have some particular need-based scholarships. In other words, if you need the money because you, you financially cannot afford it, and then you will notice that there are scholarships for each individual school that you will apply to. I'm gonna test my finger here. Uh, the different schools that, that they have. And within each school, within the university, they do have scholarships available to you that are unique to the University of Iowa. Let's continue to uh, to look here. 
uh, on my third prong that we're looking at, we're going to look at areas of study. And so, going back to menu, area of study remain, remain, meaning the uh, majors, I clicked on academics and again in my exploration, I saw areas of study and that's what, what led me to majors. You will notice over here the academic uh, areas of study there are quite a number. And again, this is a public research school. This is a big time school. You will see that there are many, many different form ways of, of looking at, at, at groupings of schools. And But we're gonna take a look since I am doing education. Let's take a quick look at education. You will notice that they do have a YouTube video that tells you a little bit more about education. Then you will notice over here as well that within education, they give different groupings that you can study in terms of elementary ed, secondary education, high school, sports studies. In this case, we're gonna just quickly click on secondary education. You will see the majors that, 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 would, that you would take in order to, uh, to become a secondary education teacher of some sort. I'm gonna test my finger out. Uh, coursework that you'll be taking, uh, art education, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, these are different classes and, and groupings that you'll be taking. Uh, and I think this is also really important. And uh, I think something very viable that uh, they will also give you, prepare you so you will have your license to teach in the state of Iowa or beyond. And that's something that you would look at um, in this particular school, the University of Iowa. And as we're, we're rolling along here, we're almost done. Uh, student life. So let's take a look at student life. Student life, again in the menu, student life. We're gonna quickly take a look at student life. Taking a little further look at student life. I, it's amazing when you start clicking things, what it, where it leads you to. And it will lead you to pages like this, engagement, advising, getting involved on campus. And uh, let, let, let me click on it to show you. You can actually schedule an appointment with an advisor on how to actually get involved within the school, which I think is great because a lot of big schools don't have something like that. So you don't feel like you're isolated, that you can get excited and be part of the Hawkeye community of Iowa. Oddly enough, I, I, I think I totally missed this, but I'm gonna to quickly touch on it. Housing is not on my notes. I just noticed it. Housing. Uh, important to find your home. I think this is really important. This here. And I'm gonna we're gonna have a, at least one video on this on housing. You need to apply in order to live on campus. And, and yes, as well, but yeah, the men yeah, working. Yeah, yeah. But apply, you need to actually apply to live on campus. Really, really important that you do that, or else you won't have a bed if you get accepted, when you get accepted, and you decide to go there. And they also do have recreational services, which I think is super cool, where you have here the wellness center, field house, fitness east, uh, the recreational, where, where to play, uh, wildlife back this summer, uh, small group training, which I think is really cool. And you can download the Rec Serve app which is phenomenal because uh, you, you really can, can, cannot, you don't, you don't miss out on a thing. And like I said, I'm trying to keep these a little shorter because I, I could go on and on and on. The last thing, which I think is intricately important, you need to have an advocate on campus. And this is the last thing that I think you need to look for, which is finding a counselor. Going back to our menu button, going back to admissions, undergraduate admissions, now we definitely go to counselors, meet our admission counselors, pick your state. Uh, and if you're an international student, hold on. From the drop down menu, choose international recruitment. In my case, I'm going to pick Florida. I'm going to click on go. And there is Marcus Phillips with an email a picture of the young man, and I like to double check because I don't always believe things, Florida, and uh, reach out to him today for the University of Iowa. 
he will be your advocate. And sometimes, sadly, they do have a turnaround and people do leave because they're there to get a master's degree or a doctorate. Um, reach out to him now and then go back and say, hey, you know, and, and, and check in with him to make sure that he's still there. And if he's not, have somebody who, who takes his place to, uh, to communicate. And that is all I got. I try to make it uh, brief because I, I noticed, because I like to do research. Um, my previous um, college looks are like 26 minutes long, 20 something minutes long. And this is just under 16 minutes long. So uh, thank you and take a look at the College Spotlight. Hopefully we have many, many schools here. This is a gem, a great public research university in the heartland of the United States, the University of Iowa, uh, Hawkeyes. And um, I, I think it's great, it's a great school. Um, Thank you, and this is Louis D. Fresh.